Cancer is a disease that claims hundreds of thousands of lives every year and it must be solved. It's a, an incredible scientific puzzle because it's not just one disease, it's a collection of diseases that uh, have underlying mechanisms that can be really different. When I started my career in oncology treating cancer patients, I was stunned by the variation that I saw. One patient's tumor would melt away with therapy and the next patient would show no response. One patient might get really sick with the chemotherapy and the next patient wouldn't have any side effects. As a scientist, this variation was fascinating. But as a physician who had taken an oath to do no harm, I found this variation to be deeply troubling on a daily basis as I wrote my name to orders for toxic chemotherapies without having any way to know ahead of time who was going to experience more harm than good. Oncology has become very genome driven. More and more, we're selecting targeted therapies for our patients based on the DNA sequences of their own tumor. One problem with this approach is that we don't design cancer drugs to target DNA sequences in tumors. We design cancer drugs to target proteins in tumors. So it's really important that we be able to understand what proteins are in a patient's tumor and how much of those proteins that there are in order to select the proper therapy, which is going to target those proteins. So this begs the obvious question of why do we spend so much effort sequencing the DNA of tumors when our drugs target the proteins? In 2003, I came to the Hutch and set up a lab to work on solving this problem. Over the past decade, we've developed a next-gen platform for quantifying proteins. ImmunoMRM lets us measure many proteins at the same time in a patient's biopsy sample. This uncovers potentially useful information about what drugs that patient's tumor could respond to. Additionally, MRM gives very reliable results, even across laboratories. This is really important because if I send a patient's biopsy to two different labs, I expect to get the same answer back, especially since we might be using that information to make life and death decisions. So what gives me hope is the tremendous pace of scientific progress uh, just the progress that we've seen over the past decade in our understanding of how sick cancer cells signal um, and are programmed to divide and the identifications of targets within those cells that can be um, used to generate new therapies to fight cancer. Uh, so the, the number of tools in our toolbox for fighting cancer today are much greater than they were 20 years ago and they're also much more targeted and tend to do much less damage overall to the body and be much more focused on the tumors.